Okay. Well, y'all welcome. Uh, this is a this is a moment, a, a good moment for South Carolina. As you know, businesses all over the world are looking to come to South Carolina, and we seem to have attracted uh, a lot of a lot of manufacturing enterprises from around the world. And it's for a lot of reasons. Uh, the main one being the people. They say this is a handshake state, and the people of South Carolina tell you they could do something, and they look you in the eye and shake your hand, they'll do it. They say we are unique in the whole country. But also our resources, the research universities that collaborate with these manufacturers, the, uh, our technical college system is, is also unique and unprecedented in the whole country, a great port. Uh, but uh, it's a business attitude, a pro-business attitude. One thing that we always want to try to convey to people who are looking to invest millions, even billions of dollars, is that they know what they're getting when they come to South Carolina. They're not going to be vexed with uh, unnecessary complaints, unnecessary lawsuits. They'll, they'll have the support of, the, of law enforcement. Uh, they'll cooperate, of course, with the schools, and they'll become a part of the community. And so, so part of that is, is to be sure that they will know well in advance. One of, one of the things that has troubled some are, are nuisance lawsuits that, that have no basis. And so what we're doing is making the common law, which is, of course has existed for, for centuries, even more clear that as long as the business is following all the rules and has all the permits, all the uh, documentation that, that it needs to have, if, if someone moves to that plant or that facility, they can't start complaining about the plant, the location of the plant or facility being there and doing what it is, is uh, organized to do and what it is licensed to do. So we, we just want to make this clear. This is a, the greatest place in the whole country to do business and we want people to expand, to invest, and to be happy in South Carolina. And I'd like to recognize some people who've been instrumental in this, all that are here with, with us all, but Representative Mike Forrester, and also Sarah Hazard, who's the President and CEO of the South Carolina Manufacturers Association. Mr. Forrester. Thank you, Governor. I tell you, I'm excited to be here this morning signing this much needed legislation. The bill basically, as the governor said, codifies the common law practice of coming to a nuisance. As you all know, Governor McMaster and his Secretary of Commerce, uh, Bobby Hitt, have done a tremendous job recruiting new industries to our state, as well as expanding our existing industries. And they're bringing thousands of jobs for our citizens. We've hundreds of companies who've invested heavily, built large facilities and factories, and only to have folks move in close proximity to their facilities, increasing the threat of nuisance lawsuits, even though the companies, as the governor said, are operating under their permitted guidelines. Through the legislative process, we were able to address the needs of business and industry and still protect the individual private property owners' uh, rights. The bill will enhance our economic development opportunities in the future by providing assurance to companies that their investments are protected. It's indeed a great day for economic development in our state, and I congratulate you, Governor, for all the work you've done you. on this. Thank you very much. Ms. Hazard. Good morning. My name is Sarah Hazard. I'm the President and CEO of the South Carolina Manufacturers Alliance. On behalf of the manufacturing community, we are excited to see this important legislation become law. As South Carolina's population continues to grow and neighborhoods continue to expand closer to existing manufacturing facilities footprints, it is important to provide certainty to those manufacturers so that they can continue to invest, operate, and provide jobs. South Carolina manufacturers strive to be good neighbors and this legislation strikes a balance between the needs of industry and the rights of citizens. We are proud that this fair, common sense, and bipartisan piece of legislation is being signed into law today because it will encourage future South Carolina manufacturing investment and jobs. Thank you, Governor. And thank you very much. And let's sign the bill into law. You can go ahead and answer that. 